praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, this very day, I'm going to pray prayers of deliverance from the spirit of this world. That's right. According to 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, it says here, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And according to verse 17, And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. So the phrase, the spirit of the world, is a term the Apostle Paul used in 1 Corinthians 2, chapter 12, where he contrasts the spirit of the world with the spirit of God. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. So as opposed to the spirit of the world, the Holy Spirit imparts true wisdom to the believer. So the Holy Spirit enables us to receive and understand the secret and hidden wisdom of God, according to 1 Corinthians 2, 7. So only God's spirit can reveal spiritual truth because only his spirit knows the deep things of God. So the spirit of the world can be understood in one of three ways. It can be interpreted the spirit of the world is the demonic spirits, the world of perhaps Satan in particular, because in scripture it says Satan is called the ruler of this world, according to John 12, verse 31, uh, and also John 14, verse 30, and also John 16, verse 11. And we also see that he is the God of this world, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, where he is the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient, even according to Ephesians 2, verse 2. So as we pray this prayer, I encourage you, whatever things that you have dabbled in, in this world, through the Spirit, the Lord will start to give you a deep deliverance. So I encourage you to be ready to re-listen to this prayer, even repeat it several times that the Lord may deliver you completely in Jesus' name. Let us pray. So Lord, Heavenly Father, we come before you today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Lord, forgive us of all of our sins. Lord, we pray today for all of our sexual sins. Forgive us for worshipping Baal Parole and giving in to our lower nature and disobeying your commandments. Forgive us for taking advantage of these women and men. Lord, that we have had illegal sexual activities with, for eating for forbidden fruit before marriage for drinking at the fountain of Baal. We repent of these sins this day, Lord. Wash us and make us whiter than snow. Come into our hearts and change us today, Lord. Change our thinking. Place pure thoughts into our mind. Help us to live as you would live, to live ourselves, to line up ourselves up with the word of God. Lord, that Lord, we would also have the mind of Christ. Help us to live as you would live, to line ourselves up with you. Lord, you are our plumbing line. We submit to you today, Jesus, this day, body, soul, and mind and spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Lord, we bind now Satan and the spirit of Baal Peor, according to Matthew 18, 18, that says, whoever you bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loosen on this earth shall be loosened in heaven. So we take authority over it and every other demon that we have picked up of witchcraft, impure thoughts, Lord, any vulgar things, any dirty, flirty or filthy minds, Lord, twisted thinking, fear, anxiety, worry, spirits of lust and any other spirits that we have pitched up 
from these women and men that we have had this sexual it, uh, immorality with, that we've been involved with sexually. We bind also the spirit of Ashtaroth and the spirit of Jezebel right now. In the name of Jesus, you will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ right now. We bind you today. This controlling, dominating, and manipulative spirit of witchcraft. Lord, we command them to go now in the name of Jesus. Get out of our bodies. Get out of our lives in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus right now. We put the blood of Jesus against these spirits at the root at which they came in. We close these doors now. We seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now. We send them back right now now in the name of Jesus right that you'll stand the judgment of God we forbid them to come in in any way shape or form or to touch anyone else in the way in the name of Jesus go immediately right now in the name of Jesus Christ we loosen your Holy Spirit right now Lord to flesh out these demons right now to flush them out of us right now in the name of Jesus Christ we send forth your angels your warrior angels send them with the swords of flame to bring them to stand the judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose your cleansing fire, the fire, all consuming fire of the Holy Spirit to come right now onto us and burn off the dross from us. Purify us, O oh Lord, and make us whole. Make us cleanse us today, Lord Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we loose the will to be clean and to stay clean today in the name of Jesus Christ for we pray right now Lord Jesus we detach anything Lord for the men right now we detach anything from their penises right now and from the women's vagina Lord Lord let it be detached today Lord that we have had sex with in the flesh or in the mind we break all negative and ungodly soul ties with these women right now and we profess those names right now in the name of Jesus Christ Christ. Satan, we stand separate and apart from them and we no longer and can use them to seduce us from doing sexual acts of perversion. We resist now, you Satan. Lord, help us to be strong and resist them and to resist the enemy as he should try and lure me again. But we block these demons of Baal Pearl and according to James 4, 7, it says submit to God, resist the devil and he shall flee from us. And Lord, we pray also for the women today, Lord, that they will dispatch themselves, detach themselves from the men's penis. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray right now, Satan, we stand and I pray that they would stand separate and apart from them today. Lord, that you can no longer use them ever again to come against these women. Lord, to lure them and to tempt them into sin or to bind them down into sin. Lord, we pray today, Lord, as they resist the Satan, as they come before you in the name of Jesus, according to James 4 verse 7, as they resist the devil and he will flee from them. And every uh, perverse snake of Baal Peru and Ashtaroth demons that are wrapped around their sexual organs, we command right now for them to go and leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. Come come out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we put the blood of Jesus at the root of which they came in. And Lord, we pray that you will close the doors now. We seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ and you send them right now back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We forbid them to come back in the name of Jesus Christ or to touch anyone else in this way in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We loose now, Lord, healing unto their sexual organs right now. Heal them right now in the name of Jesus. Heal them, Lord, never to suffer again from these spirits. Remove the impurities from their bodies and nullify the poison in their body, soul, mind and spirit. Every cell of their body right now. We block you now, Satan, from throwing these demons of perversion against them again in the name of Jesus Christ. These demons of Baal Parole 
and Ashtaroth, we forbid you to try and tempt us to prostitution ourselves ever again. Lord, protect them. Lord, each and every person from these demons that would try and come back upon them. Lord, we place a hedge of protection around them. We place the fire of the Holy Spirit so any demons that will come close to it, they will be burned up. We thank you, Jesus, for healing them and rescuing them this day and forgive them for the perversion of sins and prostitution today. Fill them, Lord, now with your purity, your holiness and your love, your joy and your mercy and your grace. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Na This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrapath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom.